Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, it has been a while, I think about a month since I made a video. So I wanted to come on and let you guys know what's been going on with Kevin's court case um, because we did have a hearing last Tuesday, so a week ago, um, and just a lot of changes have happened recently um, in my life and just everything in general. So let me just start off um, telling you guys about his court hearing. So on Tuesday, which was the 20th, we had a hearing in the Supreme Court. This was going to be the last hearing. It's called an oral argument. Um, it was going to be the last hearing in the Supreme Court um, before he was resentenced, depending on what the decision is. So um, pretty much it was our lawyer had 20 minutes, the prosecutor had 20 minutes, and then the prosecutor had five minutes of rebuttal um, at the very end of the argument. So the prosecutor started with their 20 minutes. Um, there's nine Supreme Court justices, so they can interject at any time and ask um, questions or cl clarification or anything like that. Um, so Kevin, ba back in May, he had an oral argument in the appellate court. For those of you guys that haven't followed everything, um, and they unanimously decided to remand him for resentencing. So pretty much what happened was the prosecutor um, like pretty much appealed that decision to the Supreme Court. So that's why we had a Supreme Court hearing. Um, so this is pretty much the chance for the prosecution to say that there was a time bar because it was 15 years ago when he was sentenced and that he shouldn't be able to come back now 15 years later and be resentenced, you know, based off of the fact that he was 19 and they didn't consider his age and like our whole argument. If you guys have questions about this, feel free to like leave any comments in the description box below. And I'm more than happy to answer any questions that you have because I know it can get a little bit confusing when you hear all this legal talk. And I've been dealing with it for like three years, a little over three years. So I've kind of gotten used to it. I have gotten used to it, unfortunately. But yeah, I know it can be a little confusing um, hearing it if you're not familiar with it. So yeah, so pretty much what this was is the prosecution is not, they did not want Kevin to get resentenced. So they appealed it to the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court couldn't come to a decision over the last, what, like September, October, November, December, January, February, like six or seven months. So that's why they did an oral argument. Um, so pretty much how it was, like I ended up staying the night in Olympia and um, so I didn't have to deal with traffic and me, my mother-in-law and her fiance, we all rode in there together. We had about, gosh, maybe like 20 people that showed up in support of Kevin and like in support of this case. And it was really amazing that we had that many people that showed up, you know, that really care about us and they care about this cause, like the change that it's going to do for so many people. So that was really awesome seeing that much support. So going into it, I always... I thought it was going to be easy peasy, you know, I thought we were going to get in there, like the Supreme Court justices were going to be like, yeah, we understand the brain science thing. And like, you know, we're going to back up the appellate court. Like, I don't know. I just had very high expectations going in. And I think it's just because we've been working on it for so long. It's been like going through the process, you know, in a positive manner. And um, so I was very surprised by this oral argument. Um so the prosec prosecutor got it first, and she's the same one that was there previously in May. She pretty much gives the same argument um, that she did back in May, saying that, you know, we're looking too much into these other cases, and, like, because of that, the appellate court's decision should be, like, reversed, and if, you know, they decide to do this, that means that you know, all these other people that were 18 to 25 years old would be able to go and get resentenced and how it's going to have a major effect on the public and it's going to have a major effect on the court system um, because all those people would have to get resentenced. So, I mean, we knew what her argument was going to be. Um, but it surprised me because the judges didn't really interject a lot with her. They did maybe three or four times, but it wasn't as much as I thought they were going to. And then our lawyer got up and he gave his 20 minute argument, which was amazing. He's awesome, awesome, awesome lawyer. Um, and I didn't expect anything less from him. But what I was surprised was the justice's reaction to our lawyer. 
I swear to God, like I played it back twice, I think. And I want to say I counted between 10 to 15 times where a justice like stopped him and asked him questions about it and made him clarify stuff. But it was like the same stuff over and over again. And there were justices that in the past have been very, very like adamant and like knowledgeable about brain science and been positive about the brain science fact that's come into play. Um, so I was just taken back by it, I guess, and very much like surprised, I guess. Um, and then the prosecutor had five minutes of rebuttal um, at the very end. And so I guess in the rebuttal, the one thing, the last thing that she said that really got me was she said that, <laughs> what did, how did she put it? She didn't say kids. She said, adolescents do not commit crimes. Like, I don't. I still am shocked by that statement because the majority of people that I know or that I've read about or that I've heard about were adolescents, meaning they were like either either juveniles or they were up to like their mid 20s when they were arrested and like sentenced for their crime. So that statement bothered me. And the fact that none of the justices like argued with it or said anything about that statement. And then she kind of like smiled and like nodded at the justices and then like, you know, backed off of the podium and like went to go sit down at the very end. So we didn't find out an actual decision on Tuesday. Um, technically, I believe, I know this was an accelerated review and accelerated reviews, they have 90 days to make a decision, but I was told that it's not for the oral argument. It was for the actual brief, I believe that they have 90 days to make a decision on. Um, so I don't know if they're going to be making a decision in the next 90 days. I hope they do. There was an article that actually came out, I read today, um, where it said that they believe in the coming months there will be a decision on this. So we're hoping it's going to be within the next two to three months and not like six months from now. But the whole thing was pretty emotional. Um, I'm super like real with you guys and raw. Like my mother-in-law dropped me off at my car and then I drove back to Seattle and I cried like all night. Like I really did. Like I cried all night. Um, I don't know. I'm just super shocked. Um, I think my expectations were way too high and that's why it's really important. You guys, when you go into something, whether it's parole board hearing or an appeal or anything like this, like, you know, a Supreme court ruling, anything like don't set your expectations really high because something can totally surprise you. I mean, and I, I know I'm sounding like we lost but there's no decision. I mean, they could come back and they could agree with the appeals court. Like, I don't know. I just, that's like what I took away from it was it just being like a very negative thing. Um, and Kevin, like they've, they uh, filmed it live. So he was able to watch it and cause he wasn't there and he called me immediately after it was over. And, um, he was so mad on the phone. He was just, yeah, he was, he was mad. So, um, we're hopeful, you know, that, it's going to go through the way we want it, but if it doesn't, we are already like working on our plan B, which is very important to have, you know, multiple plans. If one doesn't work out, then you can start working on the other and you can start working on the other, you know, to get where you want to go. So yeah, so that's kind of how the court hearing went. Um, I kind of like Kevin, what did he call it? He said that he'd mourned the loss already. <laughs> of this hearing. And I'm kind of the same point right now. Like I'm hopeful still like in the back of my mind, but for the most part, like I've kind of mourned this and like moved on to like our plan B. So that's pretty much where we're at for that. Um, other than that, um, I got a better job opportunity, which I'm going to be starting here. It should be April 9th, I believe. Um, so in like a little less than two weeks, which I'm super, super, super excited about. Um, yeah, I'm super excited. It's going to bring me a lot less stress because um, my current job was extremely stressful. Um, just with the system, because it was drug court and the amount of staff members that we had. Excuse me. And all of that. Um, so I'm really excited. I'm excited about the office. It's a way smaller than where I was working before. I'm excited about the people that I'm going to be working with. And I'm just excited to have that job in general. So yeah, and I'll be able to like actually drive to work if I want and not pay $20 for parking. That's awesome. <laughs> um, but yeah, so new job opportunity came up. Um, and I ho I'm hoping to be with this company for a really long time. 
Um, they're a really great, they're a really well-known company in our area um, that they work specifically with people getting out of jail and prison and like integrating back into society. They offer housing and they offer um, tra job training and they um, just offer all this assistance for um, ex-felons. Um, they offer mental health and they offer substance um, use treatment, which is what I'm going to be doing. So yeah, so I'm super excited about that. Um, still living in the same place. Um, everything else is still, you know, going as it's going. And um, my dogs are still with my mom <laughs> and I go and visit them once a week. Um, I didn't go last week, but it's usually once a week I go and see them. So I think tomorrow I'm going to go and stay the night. Um and see them and spend some time with them. Washington weather. <laughs> I just went out to go to the pharmacy and to go to Safeway and go grocery shopping. And it's like doing lunges without actually doing lunges because the wind is so heavy right now. It's like 40 something degrees outside. So weather is not great, but you know, it's Washington for you. Um, trying to think nothing else really is going on besides that. You guys, and my hair is super curly. I got a new, um, what do you call it? curling wand. Um, and it made my hair like have these like beach waves. So I was actually like surprised about the volume, what it did to my hair. Cause my hair is super straight, but I was very like, I mean, I looked like Tina Turner from the seventies. Like my hair was out to here. I had to put it in a ponytail. It was really bad. Um, but yeah, um, everything seems to be going well. Um, I have a couple weeks off until like I have a week off of school. So I'm on spring break and I have a little, like I said, a little under two weeks until I start back at work. So I do have a little bit of a break. So I wanted to get some YouTube videos out there um, and see what you guys are up to. See if you guys have any questions um, and maybe do a live streaming over the next couple weeks. Maybe do some multiple live streamings and all that good stuff. So yeah, um, that's about it. This is about 12 minutes. I don't want to keep this video too long and like bore you guys to death. But if you have any questions, like always post it in the um, description box below or any comments. Please like this video if you like it. Um, please subscribe if you're new to this channel. I like to post mostly prison wife stuff, um, tips. Um, just stories that I have, like updates on my husband's case, and you know, I throw some other stuff in there as well. Um, but yeah, um, if you guys have any um, tips or suggestions on videos that you'd like to see me do, definitely leave that in the subscription box below as well. But um, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in, and I love you guys so much. Thank you for sticking around, and thank you for being patient, even though I haven't been making videos on the regular. Um, but I love you guys, and have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week. All right, bye.